central Italy, 750 years before the birth of Christ. Caesar 3 is one of the greatest, most nostalgic games ever. It's a city building game set in the Roman Empire and so many of us remember it from back in the day and it's probably more popular than ever today. However, it releasing in 1998 has it held back in many ways. There are numerous bugs, glitches, errors, problems, and lacking gameplay features which later games in the series brought to us. And just to show you what we can do today, remastering Caesar 3. We could, we're just going to use that word. Remastering Caesar 3 to do so much more, perform better and everything. For example, smooth scrolling, zooming in and out, uh, new buildings, as you can see on screen right now, new buildings, new functions, new all sorts of things, new advisor panels, uh, new new data, um, and new options. So many more options that you can do to customize your gameplay experience. And oh, also just just before I forget, new monuments and also gameplay mechanics uh, are improved and over overhauled as well. There's now levees. There's now mothballed buildings. There's a new a whole new sentiment mechanic. There's so, so much more. Uh, remastered the game and also overhauled the game in many ways. So today I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. It's easy peasy. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, you need to get Caesar 3. Caesar 3, it's an old game, and it's actually for sale in numerous places. You can get it on Steam, but if you don't already own it, I do highly recommend getting it from GOG.com, because uh, with these old games, there can often be some issues running things, and it's generally fine getting it on Steam, but sometimes you do need a little bit more control. And GOG, when you're downloading the game, uh, you can see there's a couple options on how you can download it. There's download and install now, which uses the Galaxy installer, which is like its own launcher thing, like Steam. But down here, there's download offline backup game installers. This just downloads the game. It's an installer file and it's nothing else. You can run the game by itself and in rare cases old games need that. So if you don't already own Caesar 3 then I highly recommend getting it from GOG.com uh, but if you already own Caesar 3 most versions should work as long as, it, as it's patched to the latest version. If you're using an old CD version just make sure it's version 1.0.1.0 so that everything's up to date before we start modding this game to remaster it. So once you've got the game, make sure you've installed the game. Caesar 3 is installed and it's running fine. Great. By the way, if you need those patches, I'll put a link down below as well. Next, you need to get Augustus. Augustus is an open source project, which is a whole new engine that uses the Caesar 3 assets from the install folder into using Augustus. Now, if you happen to be on Mac, I'll put a link down below that will send you to this, this page, which is running Julius on Mac OS. Julius is the vanilla version, by the way. If you want a very vanilla experience, but more cleaned up, you use Julius instead of Augustus. But today I'm going all out, so we're focusing on Augustus, but these instructions are the same. You basically need to use this Caesar 3 unpacker to get the game files from the version you bought to get the game files onto your Mac. And then we can do things, uh, do, pretty much uh, run Augustus or Julius pointing, in the re the, pointing the software in the direction of the game files for it to use those files to run the game. Now, this is the Augustus page. If you've never been to GitHub, this is so daunting and confusing. It's the same for me. I'm like, what am I even looking at? These programmers, they're so complex and smart. Just scroll down until you see these blue buttons. This is what you need to do, right? 
If you're watching this video, you need help installing Augustus for the first time, here's, here's where you go. These blue buttons, right? So there's a few versions. Now, Augustus does actually work on the PS Vita, the Switch, Android, uh, and Linux. Uh, though I have uh, limited experience with running this on those. But if if you are running Caesar 3 on a Switch, you probably aren't looking how to install Augustus for the first time. So uh, basically, I'm on a Windows machine. So here's Windows. And you just want to download here. Uh, now, typically, the unstable build is the most advanced version. Uh, it has the latest bug fixes and tweaks and all of those little things. But if you're not too sure, what, uh, what, how to do things, just get this. The latest release download, currently it's version 3.1.0. So you click that and it's gonna download a zip file. So now you can see I have this folder where I'm downloading all the mods. They're all there right now, but I just wanna show you this. You see I've downloaded Augustus 3.1.0. Now this is a zip file and if you need to know how to open a zip file, generally if you just double click it, it should just open. Um, but if it doesn't for some reason or it's not really looking like how it is in this video, you just need to go and get 7-zip. 7-zip is a software that just deals with zip files. It also works with other compressed files like that, packaged files, but 7-zip should uh, get you where you need to go. All right, now when you look at opening a zip file, if I just double click it, it's gonna open up this. You see, it's a package that has other files in it. And this is all of Augustus, everything you need from extra maps to assets to manuals uh, to the EXE and various other files. Now, what we need to do with these files is to put it into our Caesar 3 install directory. Now, that's just the easiest place to put it. Technically, there's other ways, but let, let's just keep things simple. And let me bring up my Caesar 3 install directory. So this is this is Caesar 3. This is where all of the Caesar 3 files are. Uh, my save files are here. My map files are here. Everything's here. And you can see the, the folders, the names are pretty similar to what we saw. So let me go ahead and open up the Augustus zip file. So this is the Augustus zip file here, right? This is the Caesar 3 install directory. You just want to grab all of these files and drag them over to a blank spot in this folder here. And it's gonna possibly ask to overwrite files or anything like that. Just say yes, just say yes to everything. And it's gonna put all those files in. So I've already installed it in the past, but you know, just to make sure everything is, is updated. Um, yeah, I think, I think it should be fine. Yes, 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 it's fine. I'm gonna replace all the files. Let's replace everything. We're putting in Augustus. It's all gonna be in there. So there we go. Now all those files are now here. Most importantly, the assets folder. Just make sure here's inside your Caesar 3 install directory, the assets folder is there. This is very important. Uh, a lot of people miss this folder and uh, the, the game doesn't display stuff. Now, here's our Augustus thing. We can close it. We're now done with this. Now you can see a little bit of a hint of what's coming next. Oh, but before I forget, uh, we brought in this maps folder here. So these are maps that uh, the community has sort of um, de de designed new maps. So th there's a maps folder. What you want to do is you just want to grab all the see in the Caesar 3 folder. We've got this new maps folder. Just select them all. Control C to copy them. Go back out to this place here and control V. To paste. Now I've done this before so I'm replacing files but these are new map files which you might want to try out because the community has been designing some amazingly awesome maps. Uh, so just put those in and when you go to the city construction kit in game you'll have a few more maps to choose from so that's cool. Now uh, you probably see some hints of what's coming up next. Uh, let's see what that, those are. <laughs> All right, next is music. Now, the music was sort of officially remastered back in the day, or rather, they just released the higher quality tracks, these high quality MP3s. Because the owners of, uh, previous owners of Caesar 3, Sierra, they did actually put these out, but you know, they didn't come with the, the game because space was very limited back in 1998. So here they are. Link will be down below for the music files, and you can see there are these five Rome tracks. Rome 1, Rome 2, Rome 3, Rome 4, Rome 5. These are the in-game 
background music tracks, which, you know, it changes as your city grows. When you're at a sm starting the game, it's going to play Rome 1. Your largest city is going to be Rome 5. And these are just available. So go ahead and download them. And what we're going to do is go to your Caesar 3 install directory and create a new folder called mp3. So you can right click new folder or new folder uh, and then just name it mp3 and inside that folder is where you take these five files and then you put them in that mp3 folder. Julius or Augustus will just know to use them and you will have higher quality music when you're in the game. That's all you have to do for the music, right? So we've now remastered the gameplay with Augustus. We've now remastered the music with those music files. And there's one more thing that you might want to do, which uh, I'm not sure if those files are going to be there forever, but cinematics, remastered cinematics. And let me go ahead and show you the page where you can get these. All right, here's a ModDB page. ModDB is a website for mods for all sorts of things. But here, link below, is Caesar 3 Restored Cinematics, currently version 1.0. And if you go ahead and press download now, you're going to get a zip file filled. It's pretty big because, you know, video files are pretty big. Uh, you can go ahead and download that while it's there. And let me just show you what we get from that. When you download it, you get this zip file. And if you double click and open that, there's gonna be an SMK folder. Now this SMK folder has all of these SMK video files. And uh, well, if you go to the Caesar 3 install directory, there's an SMK folder, which is filled with video files. So all you wanna do is click and drag the SMK folder over to an empty spot in your Caesar 3 folder and it's going to ask you to whether you want to replace the files and you just want to replace all the files in the destination. And there we go. Now we have remastered videos, remastered music and remastered gameplay. And it all comes together into this wonderful experience that the best thing about all of this is that it's all currently still in development. It's all still being worked on. And if you go to our Discord server, discord.gg slash gamerzak, the Augustus devs are in that server discussing uh, what they can improve the game on, um, what they can add, what they can remove, what they can tweak, what all sorts of things. People creating new visual assets, programming, everything. It's all ongoing right now. And it's the most exciting time for Caesar 3 and the Impressions games in general in a long, long time. Not to mention the Pharaoh official remake remaster thing is on the way. Pharaoh, a new era. So it's, it's a great time to be into Impressions games. Last thing, last thing. If we really want to remaster the, the experience, Here's the new Augustus main menu for Caesar 3. And most importantly, there's this new button which says Options. If you click on Options, ooh, you've got some new stuff. We teased at this earlier. You can do all sorts of things. Game speed now goes up to 500, so there's um, you can go real fast. Uh, full screen options, uh, use colored cursors for things. You can enable audio, separate audio sliders for everything which is something that I'm a huge fan of. Uh, added in video volume level as well. Under user interface, you can change the scroll speed, toggle the intro videos, extra information in the control panel, which is the extra information over here on the, the bottom right side. Uh, disable map scrolling on uh, window edges because you can use WASD, we'll get into that in a bit, to, to control things. Show range when building reservoirs, fountains and wells. All of this stuff you want to like, just try it, look at it, look at it, see what fits you. Highlight legions on cursor hovers, enable city zoom. That, that can lag some systems, but it allows you to zoom in and out, which is amazing. There's difficult... Oh, wait, there's more here. There's, oh, there's scroll bar. There's more. There's so many options. Disable dragging with right mouse button, which is when you hold down the right mouse button and you can look around the map. Uh, under difficulty, 
you can enable God's curses and blessings, which was an option from the original game. You can disable jealousness of gods, enable global labor pools, so the, uh, you don't need worker access, so it plays more like Zeus and Emperor. Uh, so that's an option. You know, you can increase retirement age, have a fixed worker pool, so there's, it's much easier to understand, but maybe a bit easier as well. That's why this is all under difficulty. Disable infinite wolf spawning. You can just have the wolf spawn infinitely. Uh, maximum number of grand temples. Grand temples are a new monument building, which is expands the, the, the gods and religions and abilities and stuff like that. And then city management, all sorts of things you can do here. <laughs> Little tweaks to big changes. And don't forget there's this hotkeys button where you can rebind whatever you want to whatever you want. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot. It's so, so much. All right, and that's it. We have successfully remastered Caesar 3. Smoother gameplay, overhauled mechanics, clearer audio, better uh, cinematics. I think if I speed this up, we'll be able to see one of the new cinematics. Something will happen and then a cinematic will play. Uh, new events, new disasters. Look at that smooth video. It it's still you know the original video, but ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, uh, this is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's pretty amazing. I love it. I love how the community has done so so much to grow and expand Caesar Three, and if you if you didn't know about all of this, this is a great time to jump in and just just check it out. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.